Once again, the fish are fornicating, and we're just getting ready to sit down for dinner. I can do this whenever, right? Except during meals. Except when I'm during dinner and lunch. <laughs> so it's time for um, the little clownfish to get busy. <laughs> I've put a little saucer into their space. The saucer's been there for about six or seven days. Um, they don't like it. They've been trying to push it out of the way. But it looks like they're going to find a spot just on the other side of the saucer. The idea is that they will lay their eggs on the saucer and then we can pull the saucer out and attempt to hatch their eggs from there. We'll see. Check back in a few minutes. But I think Nemo's a little bothered. Here on the plains of the Serengeti, watching two captive raised clownfish fornicate on an artificial surface known as a saucer. Looks like we might get a couple of eggs on there. Behold the beauty of nature. Couldn't ask for a more perfect night. The sun is going down. We're entering the crepuscular twilight of evening. Can't quite get the eggs on there, but they got a few of them. Hopefully they get a few more. So you can see the egg, eggs hanging on the surface rock up top and on the saucer. Looks like they've just gone crazy and put eggs everywhere. They did not like that saucer. Starting to finish up. All right, so this will be the last couple of shots of Nemo and Hercules. Today is May 7th, 2012. Only in Idaho to get to see clownfish spawn in the saucer. Pretty cool stuff. <laughs> 